Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I would hope the majority of everybody would uh, listen to the entirety of this video, but I already know that's not going to happen. But for those that actually do stick around and listen, thank you very much and I appreciate you. Now today's video is just a basic GTS training video, nothing special, just like me and my channel. However, tomorrow is going to be the Cringe Fest video. It's going to be part two of the Q-Charm Rinder Mazur Nuzlocke for Harkold Soul Silver. I will never enjoy those types of videos because it's out of my comfort zone. Um, I really hate commentary. I always have and I always will. However, I know videos supposedly do better when you have commentary. Now, again, I, do, I don't give a fuck about views, subscribers. I always say that subscribing is not necessary. I really don't care if you subscribe or not. I just want to help you complete your Pokedex and that's pretty much it. Uh, people choose to sub if they want to and it's all appreciated nonetheless. Uh, views is the same thing. If you want to watch, then you watch, and then they end up trading people. If you don't watch, it's just less trades for me, and it is what it is. Now, for basic videos like this, it takes about 12 to 13 re-records. However, in uh, gameplay videos, if I'm doing live commentary as I'm playing, I cannot re-record anything. I can't re-record the game, I can't re-record the audio, so my commentary. It's gonna be as natural as it is. Stuttering and all. And I will just turn it into jokes within the video. Um, the other problem is, as I'm playing, I'm too focused on playing that I forget I'm supposed to be speaking. And there's always long pauses, and it's awkward. <laughs> And I can make shitty jokes, and then I know that I can't go back and not say a stupid joke. And it just is what it is. It's going to be as natural as possible. But that's all I have to say about that. Um, now for trading-wise, trades go as normal for this video. So of course, check the pinned comment in the description as usual. There's a link to the verbal instructions if you need it right there in the pinned comment. Tomorrow's video, same thing trades are going to be in the comment section. However, tomorrow's video is pretty much going to be um, the last video of the week. After tomorrow's video is over at 12 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time, I'm going to be gone until Wednesday or Thursday, so please do not pester me for Pokemon until my next video is uploaded. So when I say for people not to request Pokemon, um, it's just because when their request is there, when my next video is uploaded, I'm not going to go back to my past video and pick up your trades because that's basically prioritizing you when you didn't follow my directions. I'm not going to go back and pick up requests that was past the deadline, if you know what I mean. You're just going to end up having to just take your comment and just paste it on my newer video. So there is no point in you putting... Uh, your request in the comment section in the first place and then there's a the type of people that get mad that i'm not responding but yet they don't want to read anything and then there's the people that aren't getting the picture and aren't getting the message and are just spamming their request over and over and over again and i already said that if you're going to be one of those people that don't follow directions that i was just going to ignore your comment and then if you just continued even when uh, maybe other subscribers and stuff tell you like hey uh, read her pin comment. You're not supposed to be requesting Pokemon. She's busy. She's working. She's sick or whatever it is that I'm doing and Then they argue about it. You just end up getting comment blocked afterwards Like if you notice that you're doing something that um, I said to not do and then you you apologize or you just delete the comment as a whole Then that's fine, but it's the people that pester on or they uh, bitch and complain and they spam it or they are harassing about it those are the ones that get comment blocked um so yeah that's all i can say about that is to please do not pester me for pokemon after trades are over just wait until the next video is uploaded you can head to my friend funky gamer 26's channel to get his pokemon if you'd like to while i'm gone and i also have my 3ds set to auto wonder trade while i'm not doing gts trades um, I'm fully aware. I'm fully aware of what Pokemon are being traded. Um, I can see it, and even if I'm busy and I'm completely somewhere 
else away from my 3DS, if I get a comment of people saying, hey, I got your, I don't know, Pidgey from the Wonder Trade, thank you so much, I will reply. Um, I try not to leave comments like those hanging because it feels rude to me and I like to engage with my comment section. Um, but yeah. Uh, sorry about the little minor ranting once again. It's just I have to make things perfectly clear for everybody because I do not want my notifications blowing up with people just being like, give me a fucking balloon and I want it in 10 minutes because I have somewhere to be. It... <laughs> and that's all I can say about that. So uh, for today and tomorrow, I hope you guys enjoy your Pokemon. Feel free to ask for as many Pokemon as you want. Thank you guys for listening, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.